Hello everyone, welcome back to the Cloud of Junction. So in this today's video, we are going to see uh, Azure Virtual Machine Managed Disk, uh, whether you are setting up a new virtual machine for the first time or looking for optimize your cloud storage, understanding Managed Disk is very important. So let's get started. What is Azure Managed Disk? Azure Managed Disk are block level storage volumes. So that are fully managed by Azure. Think of them like a physical disk on your on-prem server, but with some additional features like scalability, durability, security. Azure take care of maintenance, replications, fault tolerance, so that you don't have to worry about. So uh, we have a reason called uh, we and on Azure we have reasons. Under regions, we have different availability zones. So, so let's we have our Azure region. Azure region, we already know we have a different regions like uh, East US two, East US one, Central US, uh, Europe. In couple of regions in Europe. So under Azure regions, we have availability zones. So availability zones are physically separated data center within the same region. Uh, each of them are independent power supply they have their own cooling they have own network and they are designed to ensure the high availability to protect their application uh, and the data from data center failures so this is the one reason this has a, its own uh, power supply cooling network and so on now under this there are data center created it could be possible under one reason they have different data center like under easy one we have a data center called dc1 and data center 2 under these data center there might be different racks available like this rack 1 rack 2 like this we have different racks available R2. So your data, your server will be provisioned under one of these rack, under this data center, under one availability zone and in a region. Okay. Now, whenever you are provisioning a virtual machine, suppose I have provisioned this virtual machine. This is a Azure VM. Now there will be a data disk attached to it. Uh, OS disk will be created. Now this is the OS disk. There will be a OS disk. Uh, there will be a temporary disk this is called as temp disk and there will be a data disk this is the data disk this is the disk that keep the operating system on it this is a temporary disk that uh, created while uh, for temporary storage like uh, uh, like swap memory and this is a data disk that keep your uh, data into it so this is the data disk. So whenever we create a virtual machine, there are different types of options that we usually get, like uh, types of disk that we can attach. One disk is standard HSD that comes with 95% of uptime SLA. That is standard SSD that comes with 99.5% of SLA. Then we have standard premium SSD that come 99.9% of SLEs. Now this data disk that we have created. Now suppose this is the data disk. This is the data disk. It's also known as, this is called as managed disk. Now these are two types of, one is LRS and second is ZRS. Let's talk about LRS and ZRS. LRS is actually uh, if in case of durability it comes with uh, 11 lines 11 lines durability uh, it's for uh, basically for server so if server fails, disk fails, then we can easily recover it from LRS because it's keep three copy, 
थ्री कॉपी विद इन दी विद इन दी सेम डेटा सेंटर ओके नाउ वट इज जेड आर एस जेड आर एस ड्यूरेबिलिटी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट इट्स कम विद ट्वेल्व नाइन इट्स रेप्लीकेट योर डेटा ऑन मल्टीपल डेटा सेंटर इट्स कीप थ्री कॉपीज इन डिफरेंट एजीज इट्स कीप योर डेटा ऑन डिफरेंट अवेलेबिलिटी जोन इन केस दिस जोन गेट फेल्ड You can still have option because this data is replicated on AZ two and AZ three also. So you can easily, uh, uh, you know, spin up your machines and can get your uh, uh, infra up and running very quickly. Uh, let's jump in to few of its type. I'll uh, just understand. So Azure offer multiple types of managed disk. Each optimized for different workload. We uh, let's start with ultra disk. These are the best for high performance database, SAP, or uh, where the low latency is required. Uh, premium SSD V2 ideal for high IOPS through output workloads. Uh, premium SSD great for enterprise applications. Standard SSD a cost effective workload for web app services, DevOps, and enterprise dev test and enterprise. Standard SSD also standard for backups or archive storage or uh, test and dev also you can use it. So choosing the right disk depends on your performance and the cost requirement because higher the go with your disk, the higher the price you have to pay. Let's talk about the benefit of managed disk. Uh, it's high durable and availability as your keeps three replicas of your database data. Up to 99.99 availability uh, based on the uh, disk that you have selected, especially for the premium SSD or ultra premium SSD, it keep 99.99 percent scalability. You can create up to 100, uh, 5,000 virtual machine uh, disk per region in a subscription. Uh, it has integration with availability set and availability zone, so that can help you to protect again hardware failure and data center outages. uh it has the backup support you can restore the data easily using backup azure backups and data disk backup uh it has assigned role based permissions are back that is called as so you can control and manage uh disk uh there are also security options available and encryptions so majorly we have server side encryption uh enabled by default for all the disk we have customer managed key for those who want the full control over uh, encryption keys as your disk encryptions use bitlocker for windows and dm encryptions for linux machines private links you can keep your data secure within the azure virtual network by using private links so that is also a security uh, options available now disk roles uh, we have os disk primarily used for boot uh, disk typically labeled as c drive in windows or d dev slash sda on linux data disk used for uh, storing applications and data temporary disk providing a short term storage for swipe files swipe memory uh, but data will be lost during a vm reboot so that was a small uh, introduction about roles what it does what about the disk rules now let's do one thing uh, let's create a virtual machine we have already created a virtual machine so all right so we have a virtual machine created uh, by the name of azure vm and uh, it is in currently running state and uh, let's go to settings and disk uh, you will find there is a os disk already created by 127 gb There is a data disk of 4 GB created. Uh, let's create another uh, data disk. Uh, we will name the name of data disk 01. We'll create it a standard SSD and we'll make it as a hundred. Okay. We'll apply. Meanwhile, it is created. Let's jump into the virtual machine that we have created. So we are onto the virtual machine. we will right click on start and go to disk options or uh, let's open file explorer first 
then we will go to disk management if I go okay it has created the file already you will see we have one file of uh, 64 GB available here and data disk 3 is already get getting this ready to mapped over here let's see yes it is created and ready to for mapped so one disk we have of 64 GB second disk we have created of 100 GB if we go back to the virtual machine you will see file explorer we have one drive called 64 GB 63.8 GB and uh, there is another drive of C drive that is 1.15 GB free space out of 126 GB then there is a temporary space now we have added one more of 100 GB so it has populated that it has identified that is extra disk is there and it's ready to format let's format that let's initiate that drive meanwhile it is initiating you will find that disk 3 is available and it is at an allocated state to make it uh, available we have to right click on it new sample volume click next next and we will format this drive click next and finish now you can see 100 GB 99.98 GB is ready and if I go back to the file explorer refresh it if I refresh it you see F drive is there 99.8 GB so that was a small uh, introduction video about Azure virtual machine managed disk whether you are setting up a single virtual machine or scaling up thousands of virtual machine uh, managed disk provide a secure scalable high availability storage solutions if you like the video helpful please like and subscribe have a wonderful day